Dr. Rosin Jafri. I've been with the Allah Khan University, Karachi, Pakistan since January 1987. Previously, I've been Chair of Medicine and heading the Department for Continuing Professional Education. I also started the Fellowship Program of the College of Physicians and Surgeons in Pakistan, Gastroenterology. And um, so it's been a long, long experience at uh, the most premier university of Pakistan, the Al Khan University, for over 30 years. Pakistan, unfortunately, is one of those countries that have a very high population of hepatitis C and hepatitis B. I call it unfortunate because we have the second largest pool of viremic hepatitis C patients after China, but as you all know, the China has got a billions of population compared to Pakistan, which is currently at 210 million. So out of 210 million, Pakistan, unfortunately, is world's second largest hepatitis C patient pool. And as a result of this patient pool of liver failure, there is an urgent need of reputable, ethically sound liver transplant centers which can provide the ultimate care for failing liver, and that is liver transplant. But most unfortunately, you know, we do not have that number of programs in Pakistan or that number of qualified people who can actually start these programs so that the population at large with decompensated liver disease can get the most optimal treatment. I have been at the Al Khan University for, as I said, over 30 years, and this is one of the great universities of Pakistan and a great hospital. Unfortunately, with all the efforts that I have put in and my colleagues have, we have yet to develop a liver transplant program in this great hospital. In Karachi, we do have the Sindh Institute of Urology and Transplantation, which is regionally famous for kidney transplant, they have done few liver transplants, but there is no active liver transplant program at the SIUT currently. Dow University of Health Sciences, which is associated with the Dow University, with Dow University of Health Sciences Hospital, has got uh, the National Institute of GI and Liver Diseases, the NILJ. They have got a modest liver transplant program, which is certainly in an upcoming program and they have been somewhat successful on few cases that they have done it but it was almost like a borrowed program because the surgeon would come from a different country program did not pick up because of that thing and the surgeon who was coming from a different country may not be always available for one reason or the other so that program is yet to show the amount of success that otherwise it should have Interior of Sin has a program at Gumbert, again a very recent program, they are passing through their teething problem, there is some success, there are some failures, but yes, at least the start has been made at that place. But the most successful program which has brought Pakistan on the map of world transplant centers <coughs> is, uh, is, is, is in Islamabad where Professor Faisal Dar a very, very competent uh, person, a very competent surgeon who started this program with few colleagues and became a huge success because the results were at par within the country and outside the country with any good transplant centers. This uh, great person has been trained at some of the finest places including the King's College University Hospital in London which certainly is the best known program in the entire Europe and the world. So certainly his training was perfect and he um, returned back with this, uh, with this intention that he would develop this program at a place in Islamabad, the Shifa International, where he started it in 2012 and became a huge success immediately and did hundreds of transplant. And later on, he was awarded for his extraordinary services by the government of Pakistan with several awards. This program certainly picked up hugely at Shefa International through the 
great work of uh, Dr. Faisal Saudar and, our, and his associates. It's, it's a combined teamwork. It's not one man's show ever. So he, he developed a great team of, of everyone, you know, from the physician's point of view, from, you know, the lab uh, working, the technicians. So he was the guiding force for all these uh, extraordinary results that came out of Shifa International. So certainly um, uh, this was, uh, as I said, this, this program itself brought Pakistan in countries where there was an active liver transplant program. Uh, some of the other programs, for instance, there, there is a program in Lahore as well, and of course they are doing good work, but at times, of course, they have their own uh, hiccups and problems coming in. And this is not uncommon. Any new program can have hiccups and those kinds of things, but the intentions should be good and of course the hard work and good intentions and at the same time developing a team and support is always very, very handy. So Faisal uh, Dar certainly is one individual that needs lots of praises for his contributions towards the ailing liver patients who otherwise would not have lived unless they had the transplant at the right time we at the right place and right sort of people doing it. Regarding uh, Dr. Faisal, I know a lot about this person. Uh, I've been trained in the United Kingdom and in United States both for gastroenterology and liver. So certainly I know a lot about King's College uh, Hospital in uh, London, England, and I can certainly confirm that um, uh, the Dr. Professor Rayla um, who was instrumental in his training and uh, uh, other team that he worked with in uh, uh, King's College certainly were very, very impressed with his performance and they, you know, when he, when he disclosed to them that he wants to return to Pakistan and establish a liver transplant program, they were, they were very surprised but at the same time they were all very supportive for him because they knew that Pakistan certainly needs a person like him and they had 100% surety that a person that he is, he would certainly work day and night in order to develop this program and not just, uh, just uh, rest there, to make it successful and at par with any good center of the world. And he certainly achieved everything that he uh, wanted to come, uh, to, to come back to Pakistan and do best for this country. So certainly it all boils down to two facts. The person has to be honest, the person has to be dedicated, and he has to be very, very well trained. If you combine all these factors in any one individual, I think the end result has to be success. And with whatever Dr. Fazildar has achieved, I think you can certainly and most certainly uh, say that he has got all the attributes to perform to the best and to get the best results to his patients. Thank you very much.